Hi everyone, it's Kay from The Paper Shared, back again with another little project. I um, had this idea because I wanted something for my bag, because every time I go out I find things and then I forget where I've seen them. So I made this little booklet. Um, it's a hardback cover with some scrap paper in. Now this paper's on a roll, it's really thick, it's like a backing paper. But it's just sorry about my fingers look i've been dying and i will show you that in another video but it's lovely paper uh it's great for drawing on great for printing and um, you know uh, stamping on and so i made this and then i thought hmm could do with a post-it really so i came up with these these so um let me just pop that back i have got another thing that i bought which was this sorry it's got right now um and i wanted to do a little cover for that so i'm probably going to do that shortly in another video but for now we're going to have a look at these these are just fabulous and they're so quick and easy to do now i've magneted the oh, i love this sound so I magnetise these ones, but they're just post-its with a little pencil, and that's it. They fit in your bag. Uh, this is the three by three, the little square ones, and this is the five by three. So the measurements and the score, the measurements are obviously slightly different for this one because it's only three instead of five, but the um, score lines are exactly the same on both to make both. So out of this side, with this type of flap, so this longer flap, you can get um, nice. You can get uh, two out of an A4 sheet. So you can get one this size, and you can get one that size out of an A4 sheet. Cool, huh? I just love them. I absolutely love them, and I've I, I just got crazy and made loads this was the very first one I made and I hated this card because it needs to be card because obviously it's holding something and I just hated the color of this card I should have just stayed with the black I haven't even fitted that in not because I just dislike it so much but um, I put like a little pocket there and that's uh, just to hold stuff so that was like my prototype but this this one with the shorter bit where i've used a tab for the magnet or your velcro um you can get two this size out of an a4 sheet so you can get two of the big ones out of an a4 sheet with this one with the short tab and you can get one of those and one of those out of an a4 sheet using the longer tab tab longer closure so yeah but i just love them so these ones are just made out of i, I velcroed these ones just so that we could i could see whether it would work and it does and these velcro dots um it's a clear one on the bottom which is cool and i had them from timu and they're amazing they're so good. The sticky on them is just great. So they were a find. Um, and I just made these out of a, a piece of 12 by 12 card, double sided pattern card. Um, and it works fine. I didn't decorate them because obviously they're decorated enough, really. Um, but little pencils. These pencils are from a very famous Swedish store. And I just washed them. I just washed them with some bits of washi that I'd got. I don't use washi enough, really. And you know when you buy the bigger packs and there's some in that you don't really like? It's great for this sort of thing. Um, and all I do is I just sharpen the end once I've done it and it just makes the end a bit better. So it just looks like it is the pencil. But I thought they were great. So we've done those. This I love this one. This is a piece of green card, which is white on the back. 
it's a very sturdy card actually um but i didn't do that because i thought it was writing space so and i've only really embellished it a little bit because i just love the paper and this paper feels like fabric it's just so so nice and that's just so cute and then i, I made this one out of um some of the timu paper that i got and that one's the same you can put bigger pencils in these but I'd, I'd already made these little three these small pencils up and i'll just put a little black pocket on the side there with a, a little tag in and I, I embellished on the inside on this one because i love the paper so much on the outside so that is that one and then this was one of the first ones I made with that rose one out of some stamped paper. And this is so cool. And look, I put, I got some blue of these little post-its. So I just took a little pile off and just stuck them on the pocket, which I thought was great. So there's so many um, ideas and things that you can do with these. So I'm just going to put those to one side and we're going to make one. Well, we're going to make two. We're going to make two because what I've done is I've already cut an A4 sheet up and I've done these ones. These are going to be the longer flap ones so that I can show you both. So these are nine and a half. So you cut your paper at nine and a half. Yeah, so you cut your paper. So that's your A4 sheet. You cut your paper at nine and a half. Then you cut one piece at three and one piece at five and there's your two pieces to make your two post-it note wallets love it love it love it love it i've also done it in craft um again i've just stuck the magnet on there but we will use velcro for these for quickness i do i love it i love it love it love it so what we're going to do is we're going to score them so i'll just get the trusted scoreboard out and you score them both the same and you score it at three and three and three eighths okay so you've got two on this side then you score it at uh, six and three eighths is the first one so six and three eighths then it's six and three quarters then it's seven and one eighth and seven and a half okay so you get four lines on this side and two lines on this side and you do both pieces the same so i'll repeat those measurements again so it's three then three and three eighths that's your first two then you move over here you do uh, six and three eighths then six and three quarters seven and one eighth and seven and a half okay and that's it you've got your booklet already then we're just going to fold those over a little bit I'm just going to do that and just fold it I'm not going to burnish at this stage because we want to do something with this with these four lines here okay that's the only trouble with this black card is it's white inside and it's so annoying so I am then going to get the post-it notes that I'm going to use um, because this is the best way to show you and I have done this a hundred times trying to work this out okay so we're going to get that in there we're going to push it in to make that then what we're going to do is the second line so this score line here has got to go in okay so you just want to push that in like so this is why i don't want you to burnish your lines so you're going to create this this bit of a v this flip here this spine if you like then what we're going to do just going to take that out then we're going to push that over and now we're going to score 
score, not score, burnish. Okay, so we're going to burnish that. That one comes up like that. Okay. Then what we're going to do, it's easier if I show you with the post-it in it so that you get to grips with it, is that is your glue line there. So that you're going to glue this part down. Okay, and then this is going to come up and fold around. Okay, but before we glue it down, we need to cut it. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold the flap, the, the flap back so that you have the last line, the last score line showing. And then we're just going to get some scissors and we're just going to cut any way you like. I tend to stick in the middle-ish. And we're just going to cut a little flap out like that. So two lines from this from this burnished score line here to that last score line. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to poke that bit through there. Okay. Let's move the post-it so that when you glue that down to there. You have created your little pen holder here. Okay, I don't know if I can show you. So it is a square. Now I had an issue with my pencil falling through, right? And it didn't matter how much I tweaked the size of where I put my score lines. Yes, it would have worked for the pencil, but then it wouldn't work for the post-it. So it doesn't matter how hard you try, unless you actually make thinner like take some of these pages out and make a thinner one it does not work so i decided rather than fuff around that we'd, we'd alter that to accommodate whatever size pen or pencil that you've got going on now that that as it is will hold um a fair size a normal size straight barreled pen i haven't got one to show you i don't think this one is more or less, but it's got like a, um, a grip thing on here. So it's a little difficult to get it in, but it does go in. It's just a little difficult to get in and out because it's got a, um, what do you call it? What is it? Um, a gripper, you know, like a silicon gripper. And I haven't got a pen handy that I can show you. I don't think, I think this one is too, see that's got a gripper on. But that would fit. And to be honest, if you put a pen in, you could probably get it in like that. So you could get pens in. Um, I just thought it was a little bit cuter with the pencil. But you can put whatever you have to hand. You don't need to go out to buy anything for this project. And obviously, unless you've got no post-it notes like me. Um, because I came up with it. I had one post-it block. And I just had to go to the store and get some more because I just couldn't wait to do them. So that is what you're going to end up with. OK, so we're going to do the same on here. So we're going to put the little poster in. And just line it up there, push it back and push this forward. So that it covers the majority of that. Then. You, it's, it's, I'm sorry it's on black card, you probably can't see it. So your second one, your second line in from your flap needs to be pushed inwards. And this is why I don't like it to burnish at, at the stage of what we're doing it at. So we can burnish these now because that's the way that it needs to be. So what you're creating is an M. One flap in. Just be careful though that you don't do the wrong flap because I've done it several times and I've done it making doing it on the wrong flap where this ends up on the back of here and it's not right. So this is the bit that you're going to put down. So where you've got that point of the M in the middle, just pick it up and you should have one score line showing on your flap end. So we're going to turn it around, we're going to get the scissors and then we're going to cut down to that score line in about the middle. doesn't have to be, can be at the side, can be where you want it to be. Then what we're going to do is we're going to just open it up and then just pop that through. 
and then we're going to glue those pieces down so you end up with that okay when it's folded down you end up with a little tab on the side of your booklet okay so the next thing to do is to glue them down and at this point I'm probably going to glue the post-its in as well but if you want rounded corners do that now so I'm going to put my corners in now on my flap I don't want them on any of the this bit purely because this is square so you don't want any round bits on that so I'm just going to put my corners on you can have little decorative corners on there you know I've got this which gives you three different bits um, so you could put a decorative corner on there if you wanted to but we're going to just go with a normal round corner so I'm just going to get the glue and I will need a couple of um, a couple of these just because I like to make sure so facing you where your slot is you're going to do on the back part or the middle part you're just going to do that and that on both sides of your pen holder that you've put out okay and then we're going to fold that down squeeze it down a little bit too much glue there and then I'm just going to do this just for, for, to help it close for now because we want it to be quite firm. All right. So you can see how that works. Again, middle. I'm going to do either side of that pen holder. And that's going to get glued down to the bottom. I think it doesn't glue properly on here because of the um, it's a shy it's a pearl pearlized card and I think that's why I've had to do it this way. So you just want to make sure you've got no glue on the inside there. I didn't do that on this one, so I'm just gonna check because I don't want it gluing anything else. And the other thing, oh, I'll come, I'll do that in a bit. So I'm just going to get my Kalal and put these post-its in. And they're quite sturdy when they go in. Um, you know, they, I thought they might pop out, but they don't. In fact, I'm going to glue this part. Now I like my sealed end, so the bit that you peel off. I want it really to look like a book. So I want it to work like a book, so you peel it off that way. If you want yours that way, it can go that way, not a problem. You can't do that with this one, it's got to go down that side. So I just keep them all the same, so I can put the glued part onto there. Okay, so I'm just going to turn it round. I use Kalal just so that you've got a bit of wiggle room and it does help because once you put it down with the um, art glitter, you can move it. So we're just going to put that on that line there. Just let's make sure that it is because you've got these on. Okay. See what I mean? So we're just going to make sure that that is right in that score line and dead straight on there. So stand it up, make sure you've got it straight on your pad. There. Okay, that's stuck down anyway now. And then this comes round here like so. Quite a nice tight fit, which I like. I like it a lot. Okay, so you've got your pad. So there's your cover and your pencil holder. But my pencil don't fit. Let's pop that one into there as well. Uh, just for quickness. 
we'll just pop that on there. Now you can decorate these anyhow you want. Uh, like you've seen, there's several ways to do it. If you use double-sided uh, patterned card, oh, I need to take those off. If um, you use double-sided pattern card, you will need to score it upside down to the pattern. Just a tip there. Okay, so I'm just going to stand that up and then I'm going to push it back. See how you want it right in this corner here? So you're just going to push that back and then, um, yeah, perfect. Just stick that down. Stick that down. Oh, they're so cool. Come on, you know you shouldn't be in there. I think I had some glue seepage. There we go. Okay, so again, we've now got the cover on our big one. Oh, I do love them. Okay, so we, we need two of these. We need two of those, so I'm just going to put those back. Because what I'm going to do now um, is I'm going to make my pencil fit. So the pencil goes in there. Now all my pencils are the same, so it doesn't matter. And then what I found, the easiest way to do this um, is just to put your pen or the, whatever you're using inside there, if it doesn't fit, if it's too big. And then I just fold back on this sort of crease here. So I'm just pushing it in with my nail. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out. And then when I open it up, you're going to see, probably should have done this before I put the post in, um, you're going to see the crease that you've made. And I'm just going to run a little bit of glue down that crease. Okay. Sorry, my glue wasn't coming out. I didn't put loads on. And then I'm just going to do that, but I'm going to use this to really help that close. Um, and then that will help. It sort of makes a sort of funny diamond shape, um, but it just helps with my pencils because my pencils are thinner. So if you have that problem, that is the way to alleviate that. So we're going to do the same on here. Put your pencil in. And then um, I'm showing you from this way so that you can see. And then just literally squeeze that into there. You've already got your, your main score line, which runs down here. So you're just going to push that into the pencil till the pencil's taut enough to go in and out. So take it out. We open it up. And then you will see it down there. Right down here, you will see it. And all you're going to do is just run, come on, there you go, run a little bit of glue in that bit. I don't think you can see. There we go. So we're just going to run that glue right in that crease. And then we'll fold it back. We're going to then push it down with your nail. And then we're going to hold that onto there like so. Okay, so we're just going to leave those to dry for a second. Just put this glue away. And um, yeah, so the, it's a great idea with these pencils. I mean, you know, this project isn't a thing that you're going to keep forever because obviously you're going to use your post-it notes. And then it's just chuckable. So this is ideal for that, you know. It's just a quick thing for your handbag, for your car, for, any, you know, anything. I just found what why I came up with it. And I mean, I've got paper everywhere as i suppose you have right i've got pads everywhere i've got scraps of paper and i'm watching a video and i need to write something down whatever it might be it might be a measurement it might be whatever and I, i'm looking around my desk thinking i've got nothing to write on i literally haven't got anything to write on 
I don't want to write on my snippets. I don't want to write on my little scrap papers. Because let's face it, if I put out a scrap paper, it's going to end up in the bin and then I've lost my measurements. So I'm thinking, I need a little notepad. So I bought these, like I said, uh, when I went. There was a pack of 10, I think. There's not many pages in them. Um, it was about a pack of 10 and I bought these and I thought, oh, that's ideal for my desk because when I've done what I've got to do or transferred the information to where I want it, I can rip it off and throw it in the bin. And then I thought, well, I don't like it like this. I need a cover on it. I need something, a little book. Now I've got, I've got this book that I write things in. My son-in-law bought me this for when I came to Qatar to make notes. Anyway, I... I write notes in this, right? It's not always on my desk, though. Just saying. Um, I've got a um, travel notebook size leather one that I made that I keep and I write all ideas and uh, all sorts of stuff in there. But that's not always on my desk, you know, because I take it to the lounge when I'm watching different ones at night and it... So I look on my desk and I'm thinking, I've got now nothing to write on. So these are fabulous. I just love it. I love them. I really do love them. So we don't need to worry about magnets. So if you are using magnets, you need to do it at this stage. Just because then they can be covered with whatever you've, you've, you've decided to cover your thing with. Okay. That should be fairly dry now, I would think. And then look, oh, fits so nice, perfect. So that's cool. Um, I think that should be dry too. And then we're just going to try this one because this one was a little tighter to be fair. Oh, nice. See, nice, tight fit. It's not going to fall out of your bag. Love it. So, they're there for you to cover. This one has the magnets on, so they're ready so that we can just get it covered. Did I do that? I did do that. Although it's not very tight. Might have to try that again. So the next thing you need to do now is decide how you want to cover them. And you can do loads of things. I used, let me just, um, so I used cardstock pretty cardstock well it's not cardstock it's just thicker outer paper because these were going to be for a book this one is the same sort of thickness and i thought i'd do one like that um, and then i used or found these little things that i had from i had a little booklet from timu these are perfect that's what this one's covered in but you do need a few sheets to do it because you'll only get one. If you're doing this size, you'll only get one sheet out of each bit. Okay, so you need at least three sheets, four sheets, however many sides size you're covering. This one was made out of the same paper line. And I think I used two on this one. Maybe uh, two because I didn't do that one. I thought I've got to do another sheet. It's white. If I just do a bit of um, inking around, it'll be fine for writing on anyway. And, um, yeah. It's cool, huh? I just love it. This paper feels lovely. Slightly different pad. I, had, uh, I think I had it from Timu, but I had it when I was in the UK. But the paper's lovely. So we've got those. So I thought we'd decorate one up. Um, I mean, if you really wanted to, you could cover this before you scored and did your things. I quite like the, you know, the spines actually being plain. And I like the fact that it goes, um, you know, there's a border, especially on the black. I love it on the black. So I thought we'd decorate them up. Um, 
so you just need okay so um i went away because my video stopped and i cut out all the papers you don't need to see that anyway so i've got five pieces for each one so we'll get those inked and glued up so um i've just got to decide what i want those two are the insides that's the back that's the front that's the inside so i picked this for the front of this because it's very cute so i'm just going to do a little bit of inking just around the edges um you can ink as much or as little as you like and i'm just going to use kalal because it gives me wiggle room okay so here we go so i'm just going to line that up over there and that down the inside is this piece the hardest bit about this is choosing what you're going to do what you're going to where you're going to put stuff but yes it comes together quite quickly you can knock loads of these out so they're great for teacher gifts as well i did think of that i thought mm, great nice little gift for a teacher or an office colleague or whatever you fancy And you can use anything. I mean, this is just a piece of book page, copy dyed book page. I mean, that'd look quite cool actually on all of it. And then uh, I think we'll put this on the front. So we just need to click those now when i do these this is done on the largest corner but because these are standing sorry that's the wrong way um because these are standing off a bit and i'm not going right to the edge i always go down one on my corners so i use the medium for this bit and i'll show you why because when you do that then it sort of fits better on those corners whereas if you did a large one it tends to uh, stand off too far but again it's personal preference that's just the way I like to do it like to roll so we're just gonna do that one I don't get glue everywhere when I do this and I'm trying to go quick just so that it's easier and quicker for you. After all, you don't you didn't really need to see me do this either, but I just thought I would. And then we're just gonna put this bit on. Um just decide which way up you want it. And I'll show you what I mean now, because I'll do these on the larger ones. It actually might look better because I don't think it's that standoffish. No, actually, it does. It does look better that way. And, oops, I've gone a bit too far on the ink there. Yeah, so I wasn't standing too far off. But see, when you do stand a little bit too far off, see the gap there? If you was to do it on the medium, it wouldn't stand off that much. But we can exude. Okay, I'll just let that dry before I put the things on and we'll just get the other two done quickly.
this was the roll that I got from Timmy. So there's quite a bit on it. Um, I think it was a couple of quid. But the, the stickies are amazing. Absolutely amazing. And they're the best ones I've had. I mean, I've bought different ones, not necessarily the Velcro make. And I'm just going to stick that on there. And then I'm just going to peel that off there. And then I want this one to be on here. So I'm just going to pop it in the middle. In a little bit. I don't like touching them very much. Then I'm just going to squeeze that up as tight as possible because this will help your pen. Line it up. You have to line these three, three inch ones up because if you get it off, it looks wonky. Wonky donkey. And then I have just noticed that my pen thing has gone in again. So I just need to open that and poke that back through if I can. Come on. There we go. Oh, I love it. Look, it's just so cool. And then we get the pencil and that fits nice and snug in there. Look at that. Look at that. That one should be dry now. So uh, this one has already got its magnet on. So that just needs a pencil. Let's use this nice glitter. We'll use the glitter glitter one. No, we won't. I don't like that one. See, look, it's coming up already. It was quite a thin one, actually, that was. Let's use a nice bright blue one. Oh, yes. And then we've got this black one, which needs Velcro on. And we're going to do the same with this. So I'm going to bring that up nice and tight. And bring that over there. Let's, let's throw that away. Otherwise, I shall end up using it. And we'll just go with a Timmy Alts one on this one. And let's put my pencils away. Get me Velcro. Get me this one. Onto there. Then get that one off of there. And then in the middle, just slightly in. So sticky, wonderful. And then we're just going to make sure we pull this one and then pull this one right over the top before you stick that down. Just so it's nice and snug. So yeah, they were a really good buy from Timu and the best Velcro dots I've ever had. And what I like about it is, yes, all right, you have, got, you have to do that a few times before it becomes normal. Nice. Um, what I like is that you can't see the dot on this side either. I mean, you can on that side because it's not clear, it's white. But I suppose they have to be, don't they? I don't know. I don't know whether you can get completely clear ones. And there you have it. So we've made those, those three in less than an hour, really. Um, and you could bulk do these you just need a little bit of a embellishment and I was going to do that but you know what you all know how to embellish you know we just stick a couple of cards together a bit of material and a journal or notepad or whatever you want to call it a little bit of an inspirational word really it doesn't have to be um noted as a notebook or journal so yeah so I hope you enjoyed that um great little project and like i said you can use these for uh, teacher gifts you could use them for college uh, you know just little gifts for people smashing little projects so i hope you liked it um enjoy and i hope you do make some if you do um just tag me on um your social media or whatever and um, so that i can see what you've been doing because i do like to get messages and see what people do and um yeah so I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.